this morning, Tuesday the 11th of March, the Tūru Taumatua building was quiet and complete. It was not like this on March the 8th, the day 2,000 people arrived to open the new Tūru headquarters. There were warriors approaching the Maruheri visitors who walked on slowly. Smoke, mist pouring across the grounds of Te Uru Taumatua. Later the day was to become much more family friendly, but that was not the situation earlier on when fierce warriors greeted those approaching. Here, Nicholas Turanga issues the third and final challenge to Tainui Komatua Tukuroi Rangi Morgan. Mr Morgan accepts the challenge. The first speaker for the Tūhoi side in the form of Whaikōrero session was Hori Uatoku, a descendant of the last known paramount chief of Tūhoi. Māori Party co-leader Te Ururo Flavel responded for the Manuheri the visitors in what became a long, hot two-hour session, a brilliant exchange of oratory from two sides. Jason Rennes was there for the festivities and explains how significant the building is to him. It's very significant um, because it's, it's the first of its kind and it was two boys that, that, that made it possible to make it happen. Mm -hmm. And it's a physical embodiment of two boys co-profit to be self-sustaining, to look after itself as much as it can. Okay. Um, Jason didn't agree with some that the building cost too much. Uh, well, no, I, I don't think so. I don't. Well, my opinion is that the money has been well spent. Um, I think our man said fifteen million dollars to build it. I think that's well spent. Um, just in terms of being like a cultural hub, a learning hub, you know, not just an office building. A large crowd sat in the amphitheatre facing the stage at the front of the Tūru Taumatua building. Ari Ja was popular in the early afternoon, but children, as they often will, found their own way to entertain themselves. In the evening, the dynamic 1814 band had everybody up dancing. The last act, they finished the evening on a high note. The final act in a long and eventful and special day in the life of the Tuhoi tribe was a fireworks demonstration, a legal ban, as it was described by Te Uru Taumatua Chief Executive Kirsty Luke.